The BBC crackled into life on the 14th of November, 1922, with a radio news bulletin. This is Toyota, the London station of the British Broadcasting Company calling. And it wasn't long before musicians, royalty, and politicians took to the airwaves to get their message to the masses. This country is at war with Germany. As the public got the hang of this newfangled phenomenon, they were soon able to watch as well as listen to programmes when the BBC launched its first regular television service from Ali Pali at 3 p.m. on Monday, the 2nd of November, 1936. The station goes on the air. Actress Adele Dixon performed a special composition, fittingly called Television. If Adele had any first night nerves, it certainly didn't show. When television launched, there was no way to record programs. Everything went out live. And it seems almost unimaginable now, but rather like theatre. If a program was repeated, the whole cast had to perform the whole program all over again. The excitement and bustle of those first live TV performances was captured by the Manchester artist Harry Rutherford as Francis Christie discovered. Now we're standing here in front of this amazingly atmospheric sketch painted in ink of one of the very first BBC television studios here at Alexandra Palace. And it's by an artist called Harry Rutherford. It's very significant because it was painted in 1936. Where did you find it? I found it in a Manchester auction house. And um, I just love his kind of work. You know, being a northern artist and a northern collector, and I just had to have it. And what do you think? Rutherford, he was a huge fan of the theatre, and I think it's kind of the new theatre is television, and so I think he was sort of on board with that, really, from the very early starting point. And this is um, a significant work because of that, and, yeah, there's probably not many other examples from that period around. If we look at the sketch, it really brings out the kind of lights, camera, action of an early TV studio. You can see you've got this amazing rigging, and they are interviewing here. You've got the main camera pointing at the stage. And then you've got live music. You've got the pianist and the violinist. And then here, of course, we've got the director looking on and then a few people waiting in costume to run on stage. All the elements of it really helped to recreate what it must have been like for those early years of television. Rutherford's a real trailblazer for artists and the BBC. He worked on one of the very first television series called Cabaret Cartoons, and he would sit in the wings and he would sketch the cabaret. They used to superimpose Rutherford's sketch on top of the still at the end of the programme, which at the time must have been a really, really quite forward-thinking way of presenting both art and performance art on TV. In terms of value, I think if this was to come up for auction today, I think we'd put an estimate of 1,500 to 2,500 pounds. Uh, thank you very much. It won't be going anywhere. Those heady days of early broadcasting are close to the heart of Blaine Judd, 